sugar in moderation, sugar in excess. When we eat a small amount of sugar, every single cell in your body lights up with joy. It's like your cells are a kid again, but this is the wildest part. The poison is in the dose. Your brain, your muscles, your bone actually need the glucose from the sugar to function. Once you cross that threshold into excess, sugar no longer becomes a friend, it's a foe. Literally, it becomes addictive. It hijacks your brain, triggering the same reward centers just like drugs do. Americans consume on average 77 grams of sugar every single day, well beyond the limit that is set for health. Now, how do sugar affect weight loss? Which is what I like to talk about. Excess sugar tampers your weight loss by spiking insulin, causing your body not to store fat efficiently. Your metabolism slows down when it's bombarded with so much sugar. It makes weight management nearly impossible. Resistance training, sugar at the wrong time can rob you of gains. Like we don't wanna give up those gains, but too much sugar at the wrong time can hurt your gains and your protein synthesis. But a little sugar at the right time can actually help your body transport the right nutrients to your muscles during recovery. But this is the biggest issue with sugar. Over time, excess sugar, it leads to metabolic diseases, potential blindness, amputation of limbs, kidney, liver failure, so many problems. Some people call it diabetes, but that's not the real problem. The real problem is excess sugar. The thing to worry about is how much sugar are you taking in every single day and what can you do to make it better? What fuels your body today and makes you happy can rewire your body towards disease tomorrow is just that simple. Indeed, a spoonful of difference. Sugar is not evil. It's how much you take, how much you control it, and how consistently you do. Rod Adele, Mind Over Wellness.